Welcome back, everyone. All new at 11. The state of the city address in New Britain is causing a stir among educators. That's because the mayor says she's not giving the district any more money. But educators say that's only hurting students and teachers. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Courtney Zeller reports on the battle for funding. Education leaders are coming together in response to New Britain Mayor Aaron Stewart's state of the city address last week. I was shocked to hear in the state of the city address of this year that there will be no additional funding for New Britain public schools. Now, that, mind you, this, is the, this will be the fifth year in a row that the city has shortchanged education. When it comes to school testing and performance, New Britain is dead last in the state, ranking 166 out of 166. In the mayor's address, she says she will provide little or no new money for education. I'm committed to maintaining and funding the educational savings account we created last year as a viable alternative option for increased education funding. But what I will not do is blindly throw additional tax dollars into a massive bureaucracy that is failing our students. In a document obtained by WFSB, the Board of Education is asking the city for a little more than $2 million. They say over the past year, we have radically changed education in New Britain, creating opportunities for in-person, remote and hybrid experiences for students and allowing families flexibility based on their personal preferences. The mayor says the Consolidated School District of New Britain already receives $126 million of taxpayer dollars. The district says they actually get less than half that. The rest is a grant. But the mayor says under the CARES Act signed by President Donald Trump, the district received $23 million, and soon they'll get a little more than $55 million under President Joe Biden's American Rescue Act. In that document obtained by WFSB, the superintendent and local union leaders sent a letter to employees in response to the mayor's address saying, we are not failing students, we are not a failing district, but rather a district that has been consistently failed by lack of equitable funding. The district says they've used money to hire additional teachers and staff. The mayor responded to today's press conference. You can read that on WFSB.com. In New Britain, Courtney Zeller, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.